I wanted to come today to do a little bit of volunteering because I know that this is a community that's still reeling from what we know is a, an event unlike anything we've seen in 500 years. Uh, after last month's flooding, we know that there are a lot of people who have lost everything and homes that they've lived in and um, built up over the course of decades. People who spent their whole life building small businesses in this community who are afraid that they won't be able to overcome the damage. Um, and the flooding that has impacted roads and public parks and schools and more. So we know that this is a tough moment, but we're going to get through this and we're going to get through it together. We won't recover overnight. It is going to take a sustained long-term effort, um, but little by little we're going to help the Midland area residents and businesses get back on their feet. So I've been in regular communication with the leaders on the ground. This is my third trip. I know the Lieutenant Governor was here last week. I want to again thank everyone who helped the more than 10,000 residents evacuate overnight practically um, in the midst of a global pandemic on top of that. It's really remarkable um, how this community rose to this occasion and all the preparation that went into it from the uh, local emergency operations center. I want to thank all the volunteers who've been working tirelessly to pack boxes to help people in need and um, recognizing that we are all Michiganders first before anything else and that's why um, I'm really proud of and, and inspired by what I see happening here. So we're working hard to give um, the support to the impacted areas. On May 21st, FEMA approved my request for a federal emergency declaration so that we provide additional resources to impacted areas to respond to this extreme flooding event. I directed the Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy to investigate what contributed to the failure of these two dams. I've also asked EGLE to review the larger issue of dam safety in Michigan and provide recommendations with regard to policy, uh, recommendations on legislation, on the budget, and enforcement reforms that we can undertake to prevent harms like this from happening elsewhere. These actions have been a good start, but we've got to keep working to help business rebuild in this community and support those who've lost their homes and, of course, the schools that um, are going to be so instrumental to the long-term health of this community and the people who call it home. So today I'm announcing that within the next week I'll be sending a letter to the federal government requesting a major disaster declaration for impacted areas. This is, well, yes, that's a, that it. This is something that is a very intensive process where all of the information has to be collected in support of that request. We want it to be granted, and so we've got to get it right, and we're moving quickly. Um, I know that this is uh, an incredible amount of work goes into this, and so all of the work that you're doing on the local level, or that we're doing at the state level, will contribute to us getting the kind of federal support that we need. Uh, when the president approves our full request, federal assistance will be unlocked to help people and businesses get back on their feet and repair some of the damage that this flooding has caused. A declaration helps us provide everything from crisis counseling services to individuals to debris removal and road repair, as well as opening up access to low interest loans for homeowners and renters, businesses, farms, and nonprofits that have been impacted by this event. So it's unlike anything we've seen in, in 500 years. You know, I feel like I've said that many times over the course of the last three months. We're going through something unlike anything any of us has seen in our lifetime. And yet here we are. Getting back to normal is going to be a Herculean undertaking. But with the federal, help, federal government's help, we can get it done, and we will.